So in this video, we're going to take a very basic traditional view of boundary value analysis. So we understand one of the fundamental techniques of software testing. Our boundary value analysis is the notion that things go wrong at the boundaries of input fields and ranges of data. And so if we test at the boundaries, if we find values at the boundaries, then we might find problems. So in this example here, we have a input field. And the input field is limited so that it will only accept 10 to 100 as numbers. Um, the input is restricted, so we can't type in characters, A, B, C, etc. So we're just going to focus on the input values and look at what that is. So that means from a input range perspective, we have got a set where 10 all the way to 100 are valid. Then what we have is over here an invalid range, which would be 101 up to infinity. And we would have down here 9 to infinity, which would be infinite. So we can see here that we have some boundaries. These essentially are equivalence partitions. So very often boundary value analysis is explained in terms of equivalence partitioning. We're going to look at it isolated in terms of boundary value analysis. So we can see here that at our boundary of 9 and 10, we have a valid value here for 10 and an invalid value here for 9. And here we have 100 and 101. So traditionally, that would be a fairly traditional boundary value analysis. We want something um, in the valid boundary, something on the invalid boundary, so on the valid, something on the invalid, something on the valid, something on the invalid. Now very often this is taught in terms of, well what we need are um, 0 plus 1 at this side, 0 minus 1 at this side. And then some people want to have three values. Would that be threefold boundary value analysis, tertiary value analysis? How do people describe that? So sometimes we'll have replicated on both sides, minus one, zero, plus one, minus one, zero, plus one, which would give us 99 here and 11 here. But these would clearly be optional and an extension. So if I apply those then to this application that I've written, um, here we've limited the input values, so I can't go down to 9. I can type 9, and 9 is telling me, hopefully, that the value must be greater than or equal to 10. Here, if I put in 99, go up to 100, I can't go further, but I can put in 101, and it says value must be less than or equal. So we put in our values, 100, 101, 9 and 10, and we've seen that they're marked as valued, uh, valid and invalid, and we can put in our extensions, 11, there's no error message, that's fine, 99, there's no error message, that's fine. So that would be traditionally what we would do for boundary value analysis testing. 